Hello, this is Pamela. Welcome to my channel. Grab you a cup of coffee, sit back and relax, and enjoy some good old yarny talk. Okay, so we're going to use a J 6.0 millimeter crochet hook for the neckline area and then the body of the poncho is going to be made with a K hook, a 6.5 millimeter crochet hook. So for the um, medium full weight one, I used this I Love This Yarn. Uh, the color is Wild Carnation. It's a medium full weight. Um, it's a 252 yards in this game and I used... Um, a little over three skeins of this yarn medium full weight and so for the turquoise one the i used a dk weight on this it's called premier anti-peeling everyday dk 273 yards i used just a little over two skeins of this it's 100 anti-peeling acrylic so we're going to start with a chain of 84 and go ahead and start with your smaller hook, the J hook. And just, uh, you can make a slip knot if you want. If not, just go straight into the chain like I do. Chain 84. And you can actually use a hook even smaller than this if you'd like. Okay, I'll see you at the end when you get 84 chains. Now that you got your chain of 84, what we're going to do is slip stitch into the very first chain. So you need to make sure that you have your chain straight. I usually just follow it along like this. So it don't get twisted. Okay, and we are going to slip stitch into the first chain. Like this. Go ahead and chain one. Now the next two rows are going to be single crochet rows. The first row you're going to single crochet in each chain all the way around, which will make you have 84 single crochets. Row two, you're going to single crochet in each stitch all the way around and you'll have 84 single crochets so and i'm going to crochet my strand of yarn in on the back back here as i do this row so we'll start with the single crochet in the same stitch that you slipped stitched into you can put a stitch marker here if you like i'm not going to but you can so that was one two three, four, five, and I'm going to let you continue all the way around, just a uh, single crochet in each chain all the way around. And you need to make sure that you have 84 single crochets. Okay, so I just finished my last stitch. I have 84. I made sure that my chain is nice and um, smooth all the way around it's not twisted and um, so go ahead and slip stitch into the top of your first single crochet chain one and now we're going to make single crochets in each stitch all the way around so you'll start with one single crochet in that first stitch where you made the chain and then just continue making a single crochet in each stitch all the way around and you'll have 84 single crochets for this row 
So I'll meet you back. Okay, so now we've finished our last single crochet. So we're going to slip stitch into the top of our first single crochet, just like this. We're going to switch to our K hook, our 6.5 millimeter hook. And uh, we are going to chain okay, one. So to um, start this off, we're going to make a V stitch. And a V stitch is a double crochet chain two, double crochet in that same stitch. Now you've made a V stitch there. And so this is the pattern all the way around. You'll skip the next two uh, stitches, one, two, and in the, every, so every third stitch, you're going to have a V stitch. So it's double crochet, chain two, uh, double crochet. So now we have two V stitches. Skip two, and then the third stitch, double crochet, chain two, double crochet. And just repeat that all the way around. Skip the next two, and then the third stitch, double crochet, chain two, and double crochet. So um, you don't have to count, but if you are a counter, finish this row, you should have 28 V's in here. So um, I'm going to leave you on your own to make these V's all the way Chanel. around. Two stitches left over. All right, so um, let's go ahead. Go ahead and keep making your V stitches all the way around. Okay, so I just finished my last V. Now I'm skipping these last two stitches and I'm just going to slip stitch into the V. And I'm going to chain one. And um, at this point on for rows four and five, we're just making uh, a V stitch in every V stitch. So we have 28 V stitches here, and so we're going to have 28 V stitches for the next two rows. So all you need to do is make a double crochet, chain two, and a double crochet. And you're just going to do that in each V stitch all the way around, like that. Okay, I will meet you um, after you've finished round five. So this was round one and two, three, and now we're on four. And five is going to be the same thing. You're just going to, when you get through with your last V stitch here, you're going to slip stitch into this V stitch and then do round five. So I will meet you back. Okay, so I just finished with row five and I'm going to slip stitch into my V stitch, just like this chain one. Now for um, row six, um, six, seven, eight, nine, you're basically going to be repeating this, these next four rows, you're going to repeat three times. And uh, depending on your size, this is probably medium, large, extra large. If you need anything larger than that, I would repeat the next four rows maybe four times. But I would try it on after you repeat this about three times. See how wide it is on you. Make sure that it's not too small or too tight. But that's what I'm going to do for this one is these next four rows that we're going to do, I'm repeating it a total of three times. So go ahead and each V-stitch, we're going to do four single crochets. One, two, three, four. So four single crochets in each V-stitch. Just like that. Four single crochets in each V-stitch. Okay, one, two, three, four. 
and you're going to repeat that all the way around. Now, um, you don't have to count how many uh, stitches you have on each row. It's really no need in doing that. Um, but if you want, I am going to end up with 112 single crochets for this row. So when I get to the end of here, um, on this last V-stitch, I will meet right back with you. So go ahead and continue putting four single crochets in each V-stitch like this all the way around. Okay, so I just finished my last four single crochets in the V-stitch. So now we're going to slip stitch into our first single crochet. It's like this. Chain one. And we're going to work a V-stitch in that same stitch. So there's a double crochet. Chain two. Double crochet in the same stitch. And you're going to do, kind of like you did right here, you're going to skip the next two single crochets and then do a V-stitch. So let's skip the next two. And then in our third stitch, we're going to work a V-stitch. Just like that. Skip the next two. One, two. And in the third stitch, we're going to work a V-stitch. Okay, when you get finished, and you get to the end, you should have three single crochets left over. And we are just going to skip over those three, and we will slip stitch into our first V-stitch. So I will meet you when you get to the end. Oh, and for this round, if you count, <laughs> Which, like I said, you don't need to, uh, but you should have 37 of these V-stitches. Okay, so now we're at the end, and as you can see, I have three single crochets left. You're just going to skip those and go straight into your first V-stitch, and then chain one. Now, you're just going to work two rows of V-stitches in each V-stitch all the way around. And that is going to be your pattern for at least three rounds, just repeating um, the four single crochets and then three rows of V-stitches. So I'll go ahead and get you started. So it's a double crochet, chain two, double crochet, and into your next V-stitch, next v work a V-stitch, just like this. And I'm going to do this for uh, this row and one more row and um, then you'll just connect and you'll start over where your chain where you're working four single crochets and then three rows of v-stitches okay so I will meet you back um, after I have completed three rounds and like I said once again the three rounds is four single crochets in each v-stitch and then three rounds of v-stitches and don't forget when you do your, after your single crochet, it's V-stitch, skip two, V-stitch, skip two, like that. And um, you always have, as long as you're doing this four single crochets, you're going to have three single crochets that you're going to skip over. But once we um, finish our increase rounds, then the um, rounds after that, you're not going to have uh you're not going to skip over three you'll just have your normal two okay so i am going to go ahead and do two more rows of this then i'm going to do a row of single crochet and then three more of those and if you don't remember how to do that you can just go back and rewatch how i did this row okay so i will meet you back if you are a counter just to let you know like i said i don't really count so you don't have to but i did for you guys in case you need it um there are 37 V's here. This four single crochets was 112. When you finish three rows of your V, you're gonna do another row of four single crochet and you will have 148. And then you'll have three rows of 49 V's. And then you'll have 196 of the four single crochets on that row. And you'll have 65 V's if you wanna write that down. Now, um, after I finish those three rows, like I said, then I will 
go into just repeating over and over and over until I get it the length that I want. Okay, so I'll meet back with you um, after after I complete these two rows and then I repeat it two more times. Which when I finish, I will actually end up on row 17 at this point. So you're going to have row six, seven, and eight, nine, and then you're going to have uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, and then 14, 15, 16, and 17. Okay, all right, so I just finished with those, repeating those four rows three more times. And so actually I am, this was row 17 that I finished with. So I'm going to slip stitch chain one and we're actually going to repeat again those same four rows. You can actually do it as many times as you want at this point so that you can get the length that you would like to have. And um, so I will let you know how many times I actually repeat these four rows. The only difference is that no longer are you increasing. So to not increase, all you do is instead of four single crochets in each V stitch, you're going to have three single crochets. Just like that, just three. Just three single crochets in each V stitch. So, and like I said, I don't count, but um, if you are a counter, you should have 195 single crochets for this row. And um, that's how many you're gonna have for every time you do this repeat of the four rows. So you just have 195 and you'll have 65 Vs 65 V's and then 65 V's and then you go back doing 195 single crochets and that that will be your repeat you'll have a single three single crochets in um, the um, V stitches just like you did here everything is the exact same thing except instead of four single crochets you have three single crochets okay so um, I will meet you back when you're finished. Um, when you, since you're working the three single crochets, you do not have to uh, skip three stitches at the end. You will actually have two stitches left over at the end. Okay, so when you finish, I'll go ahead and get you started on it. This again, I mean, it's the same thing that you've been doing. If so, if you want to continue watching, you can on this part. But it is just three single crochets in each V stitch, just like that. And I will meet you when you get to the end, just to remind you how to do the next row. Okay, so I just finished with row 18. I have 195 single crochets. So we're just going to slip stitch into the top of the first single crochet. And we're going to chain one. And we're going to continue just repeating what we've been doing as soon as we finish our single crochet row. We work a V stitch in the first single crochet. So it's double crochet, chain two, and double crochet. Skip two stitches and do a V stitch in the third stitch. And like I said, you've already done this for four rounds already. And you should know how to do this one already. Okay. Um, so that's basically all we're doing is just repeating. We're gonna, we're going to have like right here where we had four single crochets, one, two, three rows of V stitches. Well, now we're just going to have three single crochets in each one and then three rows of V stitches. And that's going to be our repeat three single crochets in the V stitch, three rows of V stitches. And that's all you've got to do until you get the length that you want. And um, I'll see you uh, when you get to your desired length. Okay, so I just finished 
as you notice that, um, like I said, for now on, when we do our single crochet row, you just do three single crochets. Um, so there are no increases. So when you go to make your first row of V stitches after that, let me finish that V stitch here. Here we go. Um, instead of having three stitches left over on each round, now when you do your single crochet rows, you're gonna only have two. Um, so you'll have one and then two slip stitch into this first stitch. Like that right there. And as normal, chain one. And then work a V stitch. Just a double crochet, chain two, and a double crochet. And you'll make a V stitch in every V stitch all the way around. And so, um, yeah, so I think you're, um, I just wanted to come back and show you that just to let you know when you do the single crochets of three, and then when you do your next row, you're only going to have two here. When, when you were doing four single crochets down here, you had three that you had to skip over wherever the single crochet row is. <laughs> there it is. Um, you had three that you skipped over. So, okay, so go ahead and just keep repeating and I'll be right back and I'll let you know how many rows that I actually did for mine. Okay, so I just finished my last uh, V-stitch row. This is actually row 29 for me. You can keep going if you need to. So this measures about 19 inches in length, um, and that is with using a medium full weight yarn. So depending on the yarn that you're using, your length could be different. And so, yeah, I end up doing um, three sets of four row repeats of the three single crochets type thing, where I had the three single crochet and then three rows of V stitches. I end up doing four, uh, three sets of those. So once you get your desired length, go ahead and slip stitch into your first V-stitch, chain one, and we're just going to repeat um, the three single crochets in each V-stitch all the way around. Just like that. And this will be the edge. Like I said, if you do count, um, you don't have to. I don't count on this project, but if you do, it's 195 single crochets. Okay, I'll meet you when you get to the end. Okay, so now we are finished. And uh, just slip stitch into the top of your first single crochet. And if this is the length that you want, go ahead and uh, fasten this off. This. and then just take a yarn needle and weave this in but yeah you are finished now So just go ahead and weave it in on the on the back side. And I just cut that off. Okay guys, so now that we have that, let's go ahead and go to the top up here and let's do a single crochet all the way around to kind of tighten this up a little bit. So I'm going to start in the back where I did the chain ones and I'm going to go back to my smaller hook, the J. So all we need to do is grab the yarn, uh, insert our hook in one of these little loops Grab our strand of yarn, grab a strand in the back back there, that kind of locks it in, chain one. 
All right, now just a uh, single crochet all the way around and um, you can crochet that strand of yarn in as you go. And if you want this to be a little tighter, just go with a little smaller hook. I will meet you when you get to the other end here. Okay, so now that you've finished around the neckline, go ahead and slip stitch into the top of the um, first single crochet. Go ahead and Okay, and as before, just take your yarn needle and weave that in. Okay, so now you're done with the neckline, and that's what it looks like. Because you originally started off with two single crochets, and then you went back and you did a single crochet edging around the neckline. And if you'd like, you can do a few single crochets together if you want to um, make your circle here a little smaller. It's not going to hurt you. Go ahead and throw in a few of those. Okay, um now you are finished and like i said if you would like to go ahead and add you um some fringe around this um we can go ahead and do that now otherwise just keep it like it is okay so this is without fringe okay so if you plan on adding the fringe i've already put all mine on there except for this last one and what I did is I made 40 sets of three. This is three strands. And I cut these at 12 inches a piece. Now, for yours, you can have as many strands as you want. And you can space these out as uh, many as you want. I tend to do between four and five stitches between each uh, fringe. But if you want yours fuller, you can make these thicker. You can uh, put these closer together. And you can make these longer. Um, I made mine 12 inches, like I said. So here is, if you haven't made a fringe before, you just take a, you know, your strands, which in this case, I'm doing three strands. So I'm folding them in half like this. And then I'm just inserting my hook in the loop, grabbing the yarn and pulling through, laid my hook down, put my fingers between those two loop between those loops grab the yarn, and pull through. So that's all there is to it. So now you have you some fringe, and um, just kind of evenly spaced them out. I did between four and five um, on these. Like I said, you can make your fringe however you want to do it. That's just the way I did it for this tutorial. Okay, so I went ahead and added a little more fringe to mine to make mine a little thicker. And all I did is put another set of three in between each one all the way around. And it just made it a little bit thicker. So, um, yeah, if you want to do that to yours, go ahead. And um, this one here is done with the Premier DK. It's a little lighter weight yarn. And uh, it's a three weight. And this here is a four weight. So this is more, you know... A little bit warmer area and this in here is more summery and that's the premier anti-peeling dk uh, stormy speckle i believe is the name of that one and wild carnation is the name of that one all right guys that's all um that i have on making this tutorial that i have please like comment and share and um, i'd love to see your pictures on instagram and in my facebook group page and um I'd love to share them with others so that everyone else can see y'all's work. So thank you very much. Bye. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.